Hey guys, Ziamaro here. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to reduce pixelation in YouTube footage for DayZ. Those of you out there like myself who've tried to record footage for DayZ will have noticed that when you upload it to YouTube, you get this horrendous pixelation effect. The footage I've recorded right now, as I'm looking at it on my computer, looks absolutely fine. But I can guarantee you when it goes up onto YouTube, it's going to look terrible. After a lot of tweaking, I've found a solution. So now you can make your footage look like this. Notice that most of the pixelation has disappeared. It's impossible to get rid of it altogether, but this is about as close as you're going to get. So, how do you do it? First of all, you've got to understand what the problem is. This actually happens in any game that has a lot of dense foliage. The problem is caused by all the detail in the footage. The same could actually happen with real life footage, but you don't see it quite so often. So here's how you fix it. Go to options and then configure. Go to video settings and then turn your rendering resolution down to 88%. After that, go to rendering, turn anti-aliasing onto very high and alpha to coverage at least on grass. But if you can manage it, then set it to all trees and grass. Finally, turn edge smoothing to SMAA very high. And that's the problem solved. No more pixelated footage. At first, this may seem a little bit blurry to you, but you should get used to it. If it continues to be a problem, then you can turn rendering resolution back up to 100% and you can use a little trick in your video editor. Go into your editor of choice and apply a very slight Gaussian blur to the footage. Don't go over the top, otherwise your footage will look very blurred when you upload it. So less is more. The final consideration is the settings that you use when you render the file. As I wanted to keep this video short, I've actually created two separate videos which show you the best render settings you can use in Sony Vegas and Premiere Pro. To go to those, click on the links on screen now. I know this issue has been a pain for a lot of content creators out there. As always, leave comments if you have any questions or you just want to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe and if there's anything else you'd like to see, then let me know. But until next time, cheers!